Now then, guys, PT64 here. With Woodstorm. And we are back for episode three of Let's Play Eternal Darkness. Oh, yeah, boy. Let's get back into it. First things first, though, mate. We need to heal ourselves up. We got a bit hurt before. That is very true. We've got a strange necklace that apparently heals us. Indeed. So on the last episode, we got into a bit of rough and tumble at the end there in the room that we're in with uh, some wretched enemies. So, yes, let's heal up. Oh, you're not allowed to move while you're doing your spells, man. Sweet. Way. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's one wasted. On we go. Ah, oh, we've got some health bags. There we go. <laughs> Nothing like a wasted spell. <laughs> so, now... I believe that's the door we came in. Indeed. So, we're going to be going this, room this to way then. So I don't know if there, there is. I believe is. there might be something over on this side that said examine... Did it now? Let's have a little look, because your guess is as good as mine. Lovely. This mural depicts one of the ancient Khmer deities being tortured and killed by a skeletal demon. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and we can have a nice little pan. And obviously, that's what we uh, we did see that taking place back in episode two on the cutscene there. We've got old Pius, our oh, main he's... man Pius. Oh, yes, boy. Taking that darkness to the next level. So we've seen that. One might even say Don't. eternal darkness. Indeed, he's taking that eternal darkness to the next level. So we've made a loop back round. That is where we came in. Let's not mess about. Pretty sure that's where we came in. So yes, we definitely haven't been through here. No, because the, the door we, we previously came through was full of traps. Indeed it was. And now this looks familiar. Oh. This looks like the picture that we just saw and the cutscene we saw last episode. Ooh, and another cutscene. You're gonna get it. You are our chosen lady, flesh and blood. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal us. I give you a gift in return for one of the dishes. The gift is the life, sweet princess. The obligation is this. You hold all the Manata to us. The edifice of the world was good. The source of the source of great power. From the world's name, you must not take it. Lest they think you fit to destroy the little price your world has just been in it. God, God, well. She obviously doesn't like things going in her. <laughs> no, certainly not. <laughs> Organs that aren't hers and all that. Oh, yes. <laughs> so what we got here? <coughs> so, a metal staff is held by the arms of the statue. Oh, we can pick it up. Elliot has acquired a metal staff. Lovely. Cheers for that manta rock, me old boy. See you in a bit. Is there nothing around the back of here, mate? Oh, no, I was going to say. 100% completionists. We can have a little wander around. Risky getting close to him. He covers oh. the entire thing. I know, he sees all. What we got here? A statue of a human female bears witness to the monstrosity that fills the room. The porous stone of its body is covered with the effluvial grime that Mantarok has secreted over the years. Nice. Ungard. Oh, nearly fell into him then. 
I don't think you can hear you at this point in game. What is round on the left hand side though? She's still very aware of him though. Oh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> Another one, I wonder if it's pretty much the same. Slash of human female. Indeed, yeah, bears witness. Exactly no, same. leave me. I've looked at you once. Let's go. Oh yeah, I can't actually go into him. A door of formidable size seals the vault. A stylized design resembling the creature that dwells within the room is carved into the stone. Right. Ooh, can't actually do anything with that, so, so we must nothing with that. backtrack it again. Indeed. Back we go. Keeping a close eye on things there. <laughs> like your pun. Elliot, Elliot that is. <laughs> Mantarok also keeping many eyes on things. I'm just getting a bit weary. Run, run for too long. Although our sanity meter didn't get affected by... Uh, by meeting the corpse by god. <laughs> the corpse god himself. Oh, but Ooh. it's definitely getting affected by these fellas. Right. Oh! He's had me from behind, hasn't he? Good lord. Can I finish him while he's right. down? Nice. Can I act? And you've had me as well! <laughs> Unbelievable! I am... Protector of the corpse, God, sir. I'm having my sanity back, mate. <laughs> You're not exploding for nothing. I want that sanity. And you will give it to me. We also need to heal as well, which I will do as soon as I have taken out this guy. Because I don't think he's going to be doing much without his head. Right, and now he's gone. Straight into here. Not gonna move and waste it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're back up here. Healy powers. Now we're back oh, we in got here. Let's have a look for the. Uh... Oh no, it's in the one before, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's not in this it's one. It's the one the up of, here. Down the room of death. It's time for me to take some traps on. Right, watching the floor carefully. Oh, oh there's a monster in front of you. Oh, good. You just leave it because I'll probably get chopped up by. I was going to say, I yeah, I thought you might. Right, so it's that one. I would not put that finishing one. No, I don't really trust that. I don't mind doing it when I'm on the same level as him. So I'm not going to move. I didn't really trust doing it otherwise. Ooh. Oh, we'll finish him as well then. This is only a pair of legs. <laughs> Get some sanity back because why not? Oh, that's another one for you. We'll finish him as well. Oh, sanity's straight back up. Uh... Nice. Ellie's not messing about anymore. Oh, there's the darts. <laughs> There the darts. Oh, straight through here. Good lord. Oh, he's oh, done it. He's going right through. Oh, he's done it. He's through. Right, well, we know this clearly, guys. Ow. No, you don't, mate. Put him down. There's quite a few of them gathering here. Ooh, dodge. Oh, he's arm. No. Target the other guy. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Even Elliot has got a sweet combo. Oh, yes, boy. Right. Put these down. Put this fella out of his misery. Fall before me. Nice. Sunny bars back up. I believe this is that's the mural. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's a different one. We can pan ourselves on that one. That's a di detail. This mural depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer people by denouncing one of their fertility gods. Ooh. We can pan. There is again our boy Pius. Oh, yes. Saying, no, you don't, fertility god. Now then. This. Yeah, whatever. That staff's got to fit it. It's got to, surely. 
Whee! Thank you, Metal Staff. Do us a favor. Ah, open so gonna, up the door. We're going back through that room of death again. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> round two. Well, round three, technically. Oh, no, hang on. Would it be this facing? Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? So we came in there earlier. Oh, no. This no, is this it is this one over here. My apologies. It is this one. We should be looking up it. Yeah, yeah well. there you go. Right, past that. This one again we have to activate. Nothing wants to happen, so we'll have a run through it. Oh. Oh. You, you need to heal, lad. You oh. need to heal. Elliot <laughs> took that like a champion. You need to do that again. You're half elf. Jesus Christ. <laughs> heal it up. There we go. That's better. Jesus. I forget that they go in that one, that Okay. Good lord. Right, oh, we're not having any of those. Just run! <laughs> Just get through. Just get through it. Oh, I don't see too many more enemies in here. No. Which is nice. So straight through. Straight back down here then. Not anything we haven't seen before. Straight past old Mounty Lab. The corpse guard will do nothing to stop us. Oh, she's getting tired, bless her. Right, shake it off, Elliot. New area now. Ooh. Oh, the camera's going nice and uh, fluttery. Fool! You two shall have run! Instead, I dug up! Where, where is the essence of Malfaroth? She wanted an adventure. She got one. Ain't no adventure without a villain. Where, where is it? I will not, not ask, ask again, again, child. Very well, well then. You will succumb the horses. <laughs> Close shut the jaws of oblivion. And that's that chapter done. Chapter complete. Chapter three, I do believe. Uh, technically two. Two? Because uh, Alex oh, had the was second page, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, of course. Chapter two, my apologies, complete. Back to our main girl. And this is where some other stuff. Oh, look, a little, little, little lighting game coming up. Lovely. Is there else in this room that might have appeared? Well, let's examine this first. A small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, corresponding to etchings on the table and an illustration upon the wall. Some of the candles have been lit. So that one looks as though the sun's rising. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. Hello. Mm, nice. I wonder what this could be. Now then... With the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There is a message tube inside. Let's have it. Let's Found see. the message tube. Let's see uh, See what this message tube is. Indeed. Now then. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Shall we open it? Oh, yes. I just found a chapter page entitled Suspicions of Conspiracy. I do also recall in this game there is some sort of wording that is hilarious, like proper should so-and-so do something, and it's brilliant from a recollection. We'll come to that later. Ah. My presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm, filled with emptiness and the pure eye of centuries. 
Why should you deserve special consideration in the Dogastus above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow webbing the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. The bind of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that is not that the core of its remaining power? power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant overall. Mandrock included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Sharpon the Frack. His continued presence in the world is far more serious to our cause. As you do, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. Precious tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. She's got rid. And that was a sweet little cutscene there. Getting a little bit more of a delving into uh, Pius's evil deeds. Yes. So, let's see if there's anything else in this room. There we are. A diabolic drawing of a stack of human bodies. Each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have executed this drawing though disturbing it is meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail the precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convulsions of spines and ribs entwine into a mesmerizing sight so disturbing but pretty sweet oh, yeah, but, but, you, you, yes. but, but pretty spawn this is a bizarre drawing of a cyclopean city, its immense architecture bathed in an unnatural fog. The detail is incredible. As Alex studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. Ooh. A painting of a jungle shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps from Thailand or Cambodia. Ah, many travels of the world. Not them, was that just. just like that? This looks like some kind of mask. The face is serene in composure, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes closed in deep meditation. What have we got here? This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling. As though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Mmm. So, I do not believe there is anything more left for us in this room. No. So we may leave. So let's go and see if we can find something. See, I always assume that in that chapter we get to know how to use the magic. Yeah, maybe not yet though. Not yet. That painting is still I suppose... Same. So we've no more keys or anything yet. I mean, we can have a quick check over the house, but I suppose we'd just be diving straight into that next chapter page. Mm. That's what we found inside, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Suspicions of conspiracy. Hmm. What do you think? I assume that we're just going to jump straight into our chapter page. There's nothing else to do in this house. Then let's do it. Then let's do it. From my research, it is apparent, apparent the endeavours of, of mankind, mankind. A mere, a mere puppetry of the hands of the ancients. Whenever, Whenever a king bows with form, form, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. it. Under, Under the auspices of Emperor, Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, Frank, the new, new Holy Roman Empire, Empire was at the was height, height of his power. Uh, the quest continues. Ooh. Honk, honk, at Dublin, at Imperatorum Nostrum, Carolum Magna Francum, delivered this to our Lord and Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. Words with his eyes only, at once. You never 
a cheeky reading of it yourself, won't you? Of course you will. It looks like there's uh, some serious consideration going way! <laughs> Go forth! <laughs> Old Pius is gunning for Charlemagne, as we uh, discovered. Oh yes, very much so. And that guy did look pretty shady. <laughs> and we're in. Hello, mate. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monks, feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monk seems rather subdued, perhaps out of respect, or perhaps out of fear. Yeah. We don't know what that scroll's done to us yet. No, we certainly do not. Something definitely happened, but we've no idea what yet. The monk cordially greets Anthony, however he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if, indeed, this is the truth. Mm. No. Nothing He's really around back yet. there. We can't speak to him. Nothing over here. No. Oh, there's some stairs? Oh, is it? oh it's just the steps that we're on here now. The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so that the funeral rites may begin. There is much grieving to do, since this is the only recent death among the Order. Ooh. So something definitely uh, strange afoot. Let me speak to you. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monks, but apparently you give the same answer. Up here we go then. Upstairs. Nothing more but upstairs, it seems. Oh, he's, yeah, he should be, should be where he receives the tone of the tail darkness. So he walked up the stairs to be transported elsewhere. We had an examine. Pius, Pius Augustus. Augustus. With half his body missing. Exactly, which if you cast your mind back to episode one, guys, if you joined us for episode one, then uh, my boy Woodstorm, episode two, my apologies, it was actually in episode two... Had a little hack hacky at the statue yes. as Pius. And there it is. So it's all tying in nicely there. Elliot. So we can only assume that this would be Elia. So we're making our way through the ages. But there's a couple missing here. So I wonder if we will join. Look at the floor. Oh, and the floor is not having a good time with all screaming faces. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. All right, guys, steady on with screaming, yeah? It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the tome of eternal darkness? Yes. Acquire it up! Oh. Nice, we've got the, two, we've got the tome of eternal darkness now. Yeah? So we've got that now. We're back down here again. No, we need to go back upstairs. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, of course. We, we were continuing. Actually, we we never, never actually got upstairs. Of course we didn't. Go on, Anthony. Back up you go, son. There we go. Ooh, there's something shiny on that shelf. <laughs> yes, there is. Caught my eye immediately. Oh, and we know that symbol. A blue urn rests upon the shelf. We'll have it. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me, monks. Just going to steal from you. Oh, somewhat on that, uh... Somewhat addled by Anthony's distraction, the monk kindly requests to be left alone. But we want that. We want that symbol. But he's got something, hasn't he, now? The bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on the set of shelves, mostly books of religious nature. They sit beneath a skein of dust, as if no one has touched them. Yes, same again. You've got something for me, sir. No, we need that. We, whatever you have, we, we want. You not want to be disturbed. Oh. Just, just looks at it. Okay. Now, is there something we can... Oh. My phone me around the end slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into fragments as it hits the floor. The broken blue end. Picked up the broken blue end. 
Found a magical rune. There's, there's runes. That's what we need, lad. And we got the rune. That's what we need. Fantastic. Here we go. Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. So the spell list is an inventory of all spell information that has been acquired. It allows players to select which spells to cast or examine to assign to convenient quick spell buttons. New spells, obviously ones that we discover. Runes of all the ones that we've acquired. And quick spell, basically ones that we can fire into the hotkey and yeah. use straight away. We've got anything so. on the spell list. Oh. Nothing there. No spells. We've got the rune. But we can't do anything with it yet. No, so we Question need to, mark. We need to find some more runes. Yes, indeed. But you, sir, look like you have something for me. So nothing more up here yet, then. Perhaps. Oh, he's moved. He's moved. Quick, get it. Go, Anthony, go. Yeah, we need that to create the yeah, spells. Yeah, that's the one. We combine runes by doing it, don't we? Anthony reaches out for the medallion, but the monk says that it is venerable artifact required for his research and should be not be touched. Oh, just knock the monk out. No. How are the monks anyway? <laughs> Listen, mate. So we can't have it yet. So it must be downstairs, then we need to go. So we're off back down. So we've got a room now. We've, we've progressed. We've got the room. We know what we need from upstairs. We just can't have it yet. I'm assuming, yeah. Ah, uh, his mission. The monk follows that Charlemagne was last seen in the audience of the bishop in the visiting chamber. Is that uh, is that over there? Do we go? Oh, hang on. We've not. There's a door here. Is it, is there a... Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain audience with Charlemagne. So we need a goddamn key now. Mm. Right, so what I was thinking was... Oh, oh, hello, we didn't look at this. A funeral casket made of unfurnished wood. It is not properly sealed and controlled to be open. Should he open it? Oh, I think he should. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, this devil's work. We should get out of here. Oh. He's not going to be any time, Dallas, too. This poor man has been the victim of a great evil. Look, Look how his, his body is defiled. defiled. As if something, As if something has burst, burst out from inside, inside him. him. Here, Here, take this, this for your protection. Cheers, son. And find the bishop. bishop. He must, he must be, informed be informed of this horrible, horrible discovery. discovery. Nice. Ah, the Scramasax. Interesting name for a sword. Now, hopefully, the monks have done one and we can rob the dude upstairs. Oh, be really nice. It really would be nice. Are we we will indeed equip that. Chance? Oh, that would be nice now, wouldn't it? Yeah, boy, we can save. Finally. Jesus. We just quickly wanted to get that in there, guys, because it hasn't let us for quite some time. Um, two hours, in fact. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Literally two hours. So, yeah. Now we've... Oh, is there anything more to be found in here? Peering inside the casket, Anthony sees the body of a monk. His raiment is that of his order, stained with blood that is seeped from many grievous wounds. It is truly a disturbing sight. Mm. Prepare yourself. Right. I knew I'd fucking end up cutting that early. Like I say, with any luck... They've all buggered off. Oh! Oh, there's some up here. I remember he's not got a very big sanity meter. Well, he's looking a bit worse for wear in the face, though, isn't he? He's definitely looking a bit worse for wear. Mysterious gold medallion rests on the desk. Thank you! Yes, boy! I'll have a bit of that. Anthony's acquired a circle of power. Nice. There we go. Yes. So, describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. So, ah, I don't have the components. So we need another rune. Yes, we don't have the components yet, but we've got the basis of what we need. So now, I think we can uh, 
head back downstairs. And I think that is going to do us for episode three of uh, Let's Play Eternal Darkness. Guys, I have been PT64. I've been Will Storm, and thank you again for joining us. It really has been a pleasure, as always, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we shall see you next time for episode four. Take care.